Hi there. In this section, we will create the latency-based routing for our application. We have already set up the health checks and also custom domains for the applications that we deployed in US West 2 and US East 1 regions. In this one, in this video, we will create CNAME record per regional application in Route 53. We will choose latency-based routing as the routing policy and we will associate the health check. So let's head over to AWS Management Console. So this is our health check and both the endpoints in US West 2 and US East 1 regions are deemed healthy by the health checks. Let's go to our hosted zones. And here we will create two records. So let's create record one. Let's name it api.flyersprinting.net. Choose CNAME. And here we will use the custom domain name that we created. So we'll pick the custom domain name of US West 2 region. And put the value here. We'll choose it one minute as TTL. And in the routing policy, we will choose latency. The region is US West 2. And the health check is the US West 2 health check. And just give it a record ID. It could be any unique string, which is US West 2 record, for example. We will create the record. We will create a similar record for US East 1. So let's do that. API.flyersprinting.net. It's a C name. And this points to the custom domain for the US East 1 region. TTL should be one minute and make it latency. Base routing. Region is US East 1. Health check is US East 1 health check and give it a meaningful name of US East 1 record. So both of our records are created. Now is the demo time. So if I hit, I live in Los Angeles and my closest region between these two regions are US West or Oregon region. And both of my endpoints are healthy. So if I go to health checks, both of my endpoints in both the regions are healthy. So if I try to access my endpoint using the custom domain name, I should be getting response back from the US West to region. So let's try that. So if I go to api.flyerspinning.net slash v1 slash hello, I am getting response from US West 2. Now we will simulate the failover. So as I discussed in the very first section of this video, uh, this video series that if in, in case of latency based routing with failover, with health checks and the failover, if my region closest to me is down for whatever reason, it redirects me to the another region. This is what we will demo. So I will simulate a failover. So for to simulate a failover, we will redeploy this application in only in US West 2 region. And from the health endpoint, I will remove the string OK. Remember, in the when we set up the health check, we were comparing the string in the response. So let's say SLS deploy, and we should only deploy to the region US West 2. So it will take a minute or so to deploy. And while we wait, uh, we will actually head over to the health checks and see how the health check, when it cannot find the string OK in the response, it starts to mark the endpoint as unhealthy. So, so far it's been healthy. So once our application is deployed, we should start seeing unhealthy response. So our application is deployed and I'm seeing no more OK string in the response from the health endpoint. So let's see. The response here. If 
I see the health checker, it's already started getting the failure because it's getting 200 OK status from HTTP, but it cannot find the string OK. That's why it's considering this endpoint as unhealthy. So very soon it will start changing the status here to unhealthy. I'm going to pause the video for a minute or so and we'll resume when it's unhealthy. Okay, it took about 45 seconds or a minute, but now my health check is failing and my US West 2 endpoint is considered unhealthy. In this case, if I try to access the api.flyerprinting.v1 hello, it should redirect me to US East 1 region where my application is healthy. So if I do this, F flyersprinting.net v1 hello and it's sending my response or redirecting me to us east one region so this is what i wanted to uh, so it took about a minute or so but now health check considers my application in us west 2 as unhealthy so if i access my application again I should be redirected to US East 1 region, even though my closest region is US West 2. So let's open a new tab and try to access the application again. Add a flyersprinting.net, even hello. And rightly so, I am getting a response back from US East 1 region because my health check is failing in US West 2 and Route 53 three determines that my application is not healthy in US West 2 region, hence redirecting me to US East 1. That's all for this demo. We will do some cleanup and remove the... That's all for this demo. Here we saw... That's all for this demo. In this demo, we deployed two serverless applications in two separate regions and set up health check endpoints in both the application. We also set up latency based routing and health checks in Route 53. When a user connects to Route 53, it is redirected to the nearest region or the region with the best latency between the user and the application. But if that application starts failing, then the user is redirected to the other region. Let's do some cleanup.